welcome back to my channel my name is Tanya this is going to be a very quick outfit of the day video I'm heading out today into a very inner city suburb called Carlton in Melbourne I'm going to meet up with a beautiful friend I'm going to have a beautiful lunch I'm pretty sure at this beautiful place in how many times have I said beautiful at this place in Carlton called King and Godfrey's and it's one of those it's one of the very first um, specifically upmarket little grocery stores that opened up in Melbourne some time ago, especially when a lot of the Italians and Greeks came back in the 50s, 60s, and they settled in Carlton. So Carlton and Ligon Street in Carlton in particular is known as the Italian Quarter. Uh, and then there are other designated spots within Melbourne which are uh, affiliated with particular um, European identities. Okay, so I've got to be quick because I've got to head off and I've got to drive into the city. I'm a good, I'd say, by the time I find parking and everything, I'm a good 45 minutes away. Anyway, so I'm just wearing this shirt. I don't know if I've shown you this shirt. This shirt is by David Lawrence, I think. Nope. <clears throat> no, I was wrong. This shirt is by Sportscraft. And um, I picked this up from an op shop or a thrift store and I think I picked it up for like three or four dollars and it's it's perfect it fits it's great for casual wear it's great for work wear it's got the full sleeve but then you roll it up and it's got that little loop there I've just got it partially tucked into the front the back there is just out as per normal um, sometimes I wear things fully tucked in sometimes I don't I should have steamed this side flat but anyway I don't like when collars are done up completely uh, anyway, so that's the shirt. It's got two little pockets. One, no, it's only got one pocket here. I mean, these pockets are useless. What am I going to put in this pocket? That's not already there. Anyway, uh, dark blue buttons, so on. So it's a beautiful cotton and sports craft here in Australia is um, a decent brand. It's, um, you know, it's up there in price. It's good, good quality. Uh, I'm wearing that just partially tucked into these DKNY. Are they DKNY? No, FC UK. Too many acronyms. These are French Connection um, UK jeans. They came with the cuff already there. These are the ones with that navy and silvery white stripe down the side. And as you can see, I'm just wearing um, some nude sandals. Uh, today is only going to be about 19 degrees, which is about 66 Fahrenheit. Um, is that right? Yeah. And yesterday was a scorcher. It was 37 something yesterday, which is about 100 and no. I can't remember what that is. Anyway, I think it's 80-something or 90-something in Fahrenheit. So today is half of yesterday's temperature, but although it's cool outside, it's still a little bit almost muggy, you know. So I'm just going to wear these sandals. I'm using my little coach um, backpack. I think it's a Charlie. I have my um, – oops. I have my Henry Bendel, Henry Bendel uh, bag strap attached because the actual ch um, coach one I don't like. Excuse the mess in my daughter's room. And – sunglasses du jour are my Prada probably should wear my darker ones maybe my bulgari because it sort of goes more with the theme of color because I don't have sort of tan or brown anywhere else um, but anyway that's that um, so on my face I just have my SPF I've just got a bit of bronzer across I look a little bit more bronzed I think um, I've got nothing on the eyelids but I do have mascara on and I've got a MAC dark, dark blue eyeliner right up there in the waterline. So it sort of like gives a bit more depth to the lashes. I, I love that look. <laughs> I love my eye looks, you know me. But anyway, I've just got the Fenty Gloss Bomb. I can't remember the color. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, and on my ears, I have just my usual. So I've got the little triple here. The little triangular, uh, what do they call it again? Stacked lobe. I've put this little halo earring that I've shown you before in my helix and there's my rook and then this ear just has another little um, sleeper with a little ball dangling I've got my conch one in there and then these three here so I've got the two pearls and I put a little starfish in between I hope you saw that if not I'll have to cut that bit out okay um, so I'm quite enjoying zhuzhing up my ears the conch still hurts i cannot sleep on it but what i've done now is i've worked out a bit of a technique so when i sleep on my right because i can't just sleep on my back or my left all night i, I just have to sleep on every side literally four sides I, I prefer to sleep on my front most of all but anyway um so what i do is when i do sleep on my right i somehow with my hand i press it into the pillow and i just cup my ear so that i'm not flattening the ear completely um into the pillow you know because 
that's when you can cause aggravation, possible, possible bacteria, uh, and then you get that lump and all that business. So I'm keeping it clean. I'm not touching it very much, so I'm trying to make it last as long as possible. Uh, my other jewellery is just my Tiffany and my Andre friendship bracelet, and this arm is my um, stainless steel stack. So I'm actually really enjoying this stack. I wear this one, the first one. I have not taken it off for months. Um, probably nearly a year and this one I bought just before Christmas the second one and I love the look of it and I'm usually a person who doesn't like a lot of jingle jangle with jewelry but I'm really liking it now and sometimes I don't realize how much the Tiffany one jangles but it does anyway that's that so um have a week and a half left of school holidays we go back to um work on the Tuesday after our long weekend yeah and um, and that's like just star for a few days and then students come back at the end of the week. So that's that. So that's my outfit. Oh, and um, don't forget, I've still got the little anklet on. Thanks to your kind comments on my previous video about my little shoe haul. Um, I will work on the shoe collection video. I will. I just can't promise it soon. <laughs> so that's that. All right, guys, I'm going to head off. I'm going to speed off and um, I'll touch base with you again next time. Um, I've come up with a tag, which I'm hoping to upload soon. So hopefully some of you will take that on board. If you do, great. If you don't, oh, well, what, what can I say? It's okay. Um, so I'll take, I'll, I'll, blooper material. So I'll touch base with you again soon. Take care, everybody. God bless, and I'll see you next time. Ciao. Oh, side point, I'd like to ask. I've been told by a couple of people that my camera quality on my phone is pretty shit. So <laughs> quite directly. <laughs> That's okay. It's no problem. I'm quite surprised because when I bought this last year, in 2019, I think, I'm pretty sure it was mid-2019, maybe 2018. I don't remember. I think 2018 um, this had a 20 megapixel uh, back camera so this one here facing you and then I think it was 16 facing me so whenever yeah I've been told by a few people that you know if I do like an Instagram story or uh, through messenger like a little video type thing the quality is crap so can you please let me know what it looks like on your end because when I edit it I use my phone and everything and it looks okay uh, when I then watch it back on my laptop it looks okay but let me know how it is on your end so thank you for that. I appreciate it. I am I am going to upgrade and get a new phone. So I'm hoping to do that sometime this year. I don't know if I could go back to Apple. Maybe Android, like as in Samsung. But I don't know. The Oppos are pretty good. Xiaomi is out now. It's actually on the, on the shelves in Australia. So that's a good one to keep your eyes out for. All right. Time to go. Ciao.